Welcome back to Newsbeat. We're here with sports anchor Sloan Hewlett. Sloan, Florida's starting quarterback is out, but the Tigers still might have a lot on their plate Saturday. Yes, Ray, they certainly will. With just two days away from the game this Saturday, excitement is definitely in the air. The Florida Gators crawl into Baton Rouge to face the Tigers. The Gators are currently ranked 17th after a devastating 38-10 loss to Alabama. The Gators are looking to avenge themselves this Saturday in Death Valley. Ha! Good luck with that. Now let's play the numbers game. Throughout five games, the Tigers are passing a total of 885 yards and are rushing a total of 863 yards. Florida is totaling 1,018 passing yards and 1,051 rushing yards. According to the numbers, Florida is leading, but number one ranked LSU is undefeated. The last time the Tigers and the Gators headed off, the Tigers came out on top with a close victory, 33-29. to If you won't be attendance at the game this, at Tiger Stadium this weekend, catch all the action live at 2.30 p.m. on CBS. Moving from the Bayou Bengals to the Who Dat Nation, Saints take a ride on up to Charlotte, North Carolina to wrangle with the Panthers. With the Saints having the better record at 3-1 and one, and tied for first in the NFC, the Panthers are total opposite with a 1-3 and three record ranked last in the division. After crunching the numbers, veteran quarterback Drew Brees has more passing yards at 1,410, but rookie quarterback Cam Newton is not far behind with 1,386. Newton isn't the only rookie standing out this season. Saints running back Mark Ingram is a big part of the new dominating offense that have the Saints leading the conference in offensive yards. This will definitely be the showdown to see this Sunday at noon. The LSU soccer team is currently ranked number 25 in the NCAA rankings. The ladies take their SEC games on the road this weekend. First stop they make is in Nashville against Vanderbilt this Friday night. The ladies are are 4-0 in their SEC conference games, which puts the Tigers on top at number one in the SEC. With that soccer team dominating the field here at Baton Rouge, it would be great to see how they carry that momentum on the road. After the ladies play Vanderbilt this Friday, they will finish their weekend on the road at Lexington against the Kentucky Wildcats. Well, that's all for me today. I'm Sloan Hewlett, and that was your sports report. Have a great day, and go Tigers. Thanks a lot, Sloan.